If our youngest children are kept in the center of every community and policy decision made for the next 10 years, imagine what would be possible in New Mexico. I remember someone bringing up um, the phrase, how are the children doing? And in some societies, this is how um, people traditionally greet each other, how are the children? I think if we're going to live our, raise our children um, in a way that they're at the center, children know about justice. So I think we would get serious about addressing the inequalities across neighborhoods so that so it, so it wouldn't matter where you're born. For more than 25 years, the Family Development Program has strengthened early childhood education. This was accomplished through strong partnerships between families and teachers. As part of the College of Education, the UNM Family Development Program is a statewide initiative. It is committed to change the early learning paradigm that informs how educators, parents, and policymakers think about young children's learning. Well, I think it would be great for us to think in terms of children in all of our decisions so that any time we're thinking about maybe legislative you know, work, whether we're thinking about programs, whatever we're thinking about, that we actually try and consider what impact it would have on children. It wouldn't be government as usual. It would be totally different. We as a state recognize the value of children and investing in children and having a proclamation helps all of us remember that each and every day when we're making policy decisions. We need to continue to invest in pre-K, to focus on quality child care, to look at transportation issues for parents. A situation where on the buses people with babies are kind of left out and it's really hard for us too, you know, and we don't have places to put the strollers, those big old strollers we lug around. Really, I think what it would look like if children were at the center of our community is that we'd have a kind of a holistic approach to families. Family Development Program is committed to transforming how we think about young children and families. We want a child and family friendly society. At the heart of the Family Development Program's work is an image of a child who is powerful, curious, and infinitely competent as an active, dynamic learner. When I have a baby in my arms, I am blown away by this sense of knowledge, wonder, capacity to learn that a baby has, two-year-old has. It's true that the babies need to le um, like get learning, learn while they're just babies because then as they grow older, they'll learn more. Play is really how children learn best and many would argue that's how adults learn best too, that if we're having fun, at what we're doing, we're going to be curious about it and want to explore it and be and be focused um, to learn more about it. But it's seven bucks to go to the zoo. Teen mothers don't have seven bucks. You barely, when you have an infant, you barely have the money to get the wipes, the pampers, the bottles. Why can't they make it affordable for teen parents? Even you don't have to give us a free day, why can't you just make it a little cheaper? Give us a coupon, a discount for just a day, for a month maybe, just an activity. They learn from this. They learn from the animals. They learn from Explora, from any activity that they go to. They are learning. The Family Development Program advocates that play is how children learn. Play is essential for developing critical thinking skills and engaged learning. Children have the right to be children, to be joyous, and learn through the joy of play. The Family Development Program has successfully convened diverse partners to work together on this vision. Through convening and relationship building, the Family Development Program has become a catalyst for change. And what it will be is people sitting around and talking and listening and telling and imagining what this city will be like through the eyes of a child and all the pieces that will work so that we can raise our children up to be amazing adults. Our program staff have joined with other early childhood leaders to give leadership to the Decade of the Child. The Decade of the Child is a grassroots advocacy coalition committed to empowering children and their families to discover and pursue their full potential. It is in this spirit that the Decade of the Child Strong Starts Project was created. 
This project brings early childhood issues to the forefront of our community's consciousness. We want to get people's voice. We want to gather people together to talk about our youngest children, what we imagine is possible in this ne next decade for them. And we know that when people come together, great things happen for children. I walked out of the dialogue circles understanding that everyone that was there that participated in those meetings um, were all advocates for children. Now I know of other people who live in the same community that I do, which is really important. Those relationships are invaluable to me, not just as connections as a, you know, as a as a young parent, but also as someone who's invested in creating a, a strong future for young children. Something I learned from the dialogue sessions is that our opinions are important. I always knew I was a good mother, but a lot of other girls kind of just like changed my whole perception of everyone here. A lot of things changed for me. The dialogues themselves help foster connections among the people that care for the children in our community. So what happened in the Everyday Democracy process was that people really shared uh, initially from their own experiences as children what worked for them and also based on the needs that they were now um, experiencing in their lives as mothers. Um, so they saw, um, for example, you know, poverty and crime and lack of access to healthy foods as, as real barriers now and that created a bond among the participants and um, the plans that we came up with then were based on real life experiences not just out of books or or, or, or research, they were, they were built on what had worked for us. The experience that we have was really amazing. It was a small group, but it, we were really powerful. For the babies born in 2010, what will their lives be like in 10 years? For the three-year-old today, what will he face as he becomes a teenager 10 years from now? For the five-year-old and for the eight-year-old, what commitment will we make to them over the next 10 years? Where I'd like to see my son, Robert, in 10 years is in a good place. I want to have a good home for him to be raised in. I want him to be healthy. I want him to go into the doctor normally, you know, everything's perfect. I want him to grow up and to realize what life is. In 10 years for my daughter, I hope that she really values who she is. I want him to go to a um, a school where teachers care and where I'm involved. I just want him to grow up to be a good boy, to do what he what he wants in life. If he wants to be a doctor, be a doctor. If he wants to be a football player, be it. Be it. My hope and vision in the next 10 years in the decade of the child would be that we really address the inequities that exist. Despite you know, all of the plights of our community, we can come together and we can prioritize our children and that to me is so inspiring and so moving that it, it's really made parenting, it's changed the way that I look at parenting. It's changed the, it, it makes me feel like I'm involved in a community that has the best interests of my child also at heart. We are creating a decade in which the child is at the center of all of our decisions. So what will you do to support the decade of the child in New Mexico? <laughs>